We got a thousand subscribers. So we want to get shots out to all the subscribers. Yeah, you know, we gotta thank our subscribers. And Stoopy from Sticky Monkey YouTube channel gave us a great suggestion that we're gonna use today. If you're new and you subscribe, like, comment down below comment done we will shout you out on our next video all right thanks to all our subscribers thanks for y'all support you're just giving us encouragement to keep going the family love it our kids love it and we just love y'all we thank y'all and everybody keep subscribing help us out man you know we're gonna have some hot topics here y'all ready to hear what topics we got today let's get started today we're gonna talk a little bit about some topics that have been like swarming around the internet and some people had sent it in my dm and was like what's your take on this so one of the subjects that they sent to me was can women survive their natural life out without men like, do you think you could live without any man in the world we talking about not like we here we just not help we saying just every all the men just disappeared on the earth and there wasn't nothing but women left could you all continue to live a comfortable life like you have now what do you think well there are women who live without men every day and so i think that's a clear no i, I know evidence. You, no no i'm saying if it was i know I but it's saying. men that still running everything even if, if women are living single in a household what, what what the conversation was men is still running the infrastructure they still running all the heavy machinery to keep the power and the lights on and repairing the streets and everything mm -hmm. so if men just disappeared into you know thin air could the women replace us in time where they won't start dying all out what you think i believe we absolutely could it's 2021 we have women in each and every field you can think of women have been through so much i can almost guarantee that we would band together and make sure that we survive you, think you, could. you know yeah so, right like, now, there's no, way we so no man is here and oh give up oh all the men are gone ah! No, no so the women who know what they're doing in each and every field will be able to teach the other women. <laughs> half of our people are gone, right? Okay, so if half the people are gone, then what do we need to keep building more and more infrastructure for? All you but you have to maintain, repair. right? You how many maintain women is going to get? Women that are on this how many, earth. How many women me. is going to get up on a on a skyscraper and rebuild and repatch bricks that's hanging up? Uh, 300 feet up in the air. Ladies comment, if you the type that can build and you feel like if your house or your roof fell down, you can get up there and repair it without us. So let me know if you can, then I'm gonna have you start doing some of the work around here. If you think you can do it, well, you know what? You know what, I'm gonna give her a test. I'm gonna give you a job to do around the house and I wanna see if you can do it. Okay, well I'm and gonna that give... one, that's a survival test right there. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a that's job. That's a test I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a job and see if you can survive. Okay, feed you and the rest of your wow. family and the rest of the boys in this house. You can't even cook, so how y'all gonna eat? They got hot dogs. I can pick a hot dog. I know how to cook a steak. Turn the stove on. Put it on the skillet. Put a little of that olive oil on okay. the skillet. Shh. Flip it. Cut it. See if it's red inside. Okay, if it's a little too red, flip it again. I'm not saying that all women is going to, like, all of y'all going to die out, but it's going to be a big majority that probably is going to die out. Like, say, if y'all left here, see, if y'all left here right now, I don't think it would be a huge majority of men that just going to just die before the end of their time because we already, like, basically running it. So if women left, we just gonna like right now. If, you, if all the women gone, you, you got have, to twist. Like right now, if I, if, if I woke up in the morning, she was gone, and all the women was gone, I'm gonna panic. No lie, I'm gonna panic. Like oh shoot, with my wife, I'm gonna panic. But then I gotta be like, I gotta take care of this. You know what I'm saying? Oh shoot, the floor. Same thing. I gotta women put do. a new floor. I can put a floor down. Women can, gonna do the same thing. You, you can, can put a floor down. You can't put a floor down. If I had to, I would. I would go on YouTube and learn how to do it. It might not. It's not gonna be perfect. It might not even be cute, but it'll be down. 
a floor, you're gonna be walking on lumps, or you ain't gonna be able to walk with no heels on on a floor that you put down. She gonna be walking like this yeah. on the floor with some heat, what, 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 huh. what that she put down. Yeah. If you try to walk on the floor that you put down, you better put on some Timberland boots. I tell you what. <laughs> she ain't gonna have no heels on walking around that floor that she put down. Man, get I out tell here. you. Look, this how I know she wouldn't be able to do all that work around the house. I painted this house myself when a when a remember back when the quarantine and the lockdown and all that, couldn't nobody go nowhere. I was bored, so I painted the whole house all the way up there the ceiling is what 19 20 feet up there right i got a ladder and i went up there but i didn't you know get like all the way up there but did you do it could you could you have painted this whole house i could have oh my a matter of fact he was like oh you can't get up on this ladder you can't get on this you're gonna be too scared because he was too scared to get up on the ladder at first <laughs> i was i climbed right up there but you ain't cut I that line like moving. that you ain't cut the line you know, you gotta take that line. You know, you get up there, you gotta take the line, and you gotta cut that if line. If I had to, I could have painted the house. But guess what? That doesn't have anything to do with survival painting. You don't have to have your house painted. But you survival. gotta know how. Y'all gonna have a hard time. Who's gonna help you guys when y'all get sick? This one. <laughs> <laughs> he was out on the floor, had me driving him to the hospital. He over here in the passenger seat. Oh, I'm having a stroke. I know I'm going, I'm leaving here, I'm leaving here. Pray I thought for I was me, checking out, me. I did. And I got, I'm laying my hands, praying for him and all of this, trying to make sure he don't leave here. I'm really scared, I'm driving the hospital. Lay your hands on me again, lay them hands on me. Hit it, oh! So we get down there, so we get in the car, we get down to the hospital, and he all, oh, oh, I'm yeah. so messed up, I'm so up, he throwing up and stuff. All up here. We get back to the back, and the nurse says, Oh, okay, and your diagnosis is a the stomach flu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. stomach flu, dude? That's a bad boy. I don't care nobody says yeah. stomach flu a bad boy. Yeah. 24 hour stomach uh, flu, and I was toe up. It told me I had and my stomach like this. He dude. literally, like, I was in the car calling his mom, thinking, like, oh, she gonna have to come down here to the hospital. Like, he kept saying, oh, my heart. Oh, but I'm, I survived. I'm, I'm just, I'm leaving here. He kept saying he leaving here. He had me <laughs> so scared, and it was the stomach flu the whole. Yeah. Time. I don't know how he think he gonna survive without it. I will. I don't know how. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause he couldn't even drive himself to the something. hospital with the stomach flu. Let me tell you something. This <laughs> what I do. If all the women was gone, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna come home with my kids. I got three boys. So all of them will still be here, cause it, it uh, it'll be all women gone. I got three boys, so it's gonna be us three. This is what we gonna do. That's we gonna four. play, yeah. <laughs> no, you will be gone. So it'll, yeah, it'll be us four. You right? Uh, uh, hey, sorry. It'll be us four. Exactly. She'll be. She need <laughs> she'll, me, like I said. She'll be gone. What would he do without me? What he can't even do without me? Listen. When be, he would have got to that hospital, I don't remember seeing any males that day, cause your doctor was a female too. It was all females in the hospital in the emergency room. So I don't know how he would have survived. Uh, through that stomach flu. Look, it would be, look, it anyway, was all women there. if she if was out there, got to the hospital and it would have been empty. If there's some men in the hospital, it's a lot of it men in the hospital. It would have been doctors. empty and he would have uh, been laid out over the stomach flu. Him and all the rest of the I men would have drunk some, I, Okay, I would have drunk some Pepto-Bismol, some Tylenol, and I would have been all right. Listen, like I said, if y'all gone, if y'all out of here, it's going to be me, Lil Nick, Jesse, and Jacob, and we're gonna sit there and watch Netflix all night long with some what popcorn, hot dogs. I'm gonna cook some hamburgers, some nachos. No, I'm gonna knock them to bed. I'm gonna put them to bed, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up and repeat. They would be so unhealthy and malnourished. They'll be eating. No, they can eat all the cookies. They gotta wake up and eat candy. Yeah. And Milkshakes for they breakfast kids. and ice cream. My and sons wake up, they come in the room, they come on my side of the bed because they know I got all the snacks. They grab gummy bears, and I'm going to be all in their face at nine in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> he does keep all the snacks over there on his side of the bed. Yeah, I and catch you sometimes. When I'm asleep, I'll be asleep. I catch her, I look up, and she going to my nightstand drawer looking at me. This is how she going to the drawer. I say, yeah, I see you put my stuff back down. Not really. Y'all can't even. We have learned to be do, to do anything. Can you pull your Our vice president could you, is could, female. Could you get on a pull up bar? That means if Look, there was Could she no get up on a chair bar? Could she get up on the chair bar and pull her whole weight up? Could you pull your weight up? Could you pull your weight up? Can you pull your weight up? Yeah. Come on. Well, give me a bar right now. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Man. I don't believe that. And I'll I be like, look, look, look. Let's have a sit 
the this, props. This I look. I have my look. I have my legs go. Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you the shoes. These the kicks for tonight. The kicks. Let me tell you my kicks. Ha ha. And a man probably built them shoes though. I don't know. I'm just kidding. They, I don't care who built those shoes. But I get up on that pull up bar and I'm a. I'm gonna go just like that. How you gonna pull up? Let's have a sit up contest. A sit up contest. Let's do it right now. A sit up or a push up? I bet you I can do more sit ups than you. No. Yes, I know. I, can. I ain't gonna have her sore because all she's gonna do is do it. He's scared because he know I'm gonna beat him in a sit up she contest. She's gonna do it. No, no. If I do it, you all she's gonna know. do it tomorrow, she's gonna wake up. My stomach is so sore. Can no, you I get won't. This? Can you can you I be used the to kid? be a this sit up queen. This is gonna say my stomach. I used to be the sit up queen. She, no, but be honest. I used to Today. All right, are you gonna do this in the morning? Oh, my stomach so sore. Can you feed the kids? No, but I am gonna ask you. Can you wake up and feed the kids? Because it's you. I'm not feeding the kids. Like right now, is it enough? Like right now, if you, if all the men disappear and the roof bust fell in, is it enough women and time that can come and fix to repair the roof where the kids won't get sick, where you won't get sick, and all that? If the furnace go out. Can you call a, a lady fast enough? Well, she'll be over here within a day or two while it's freezing cold here in Michigan. I can't say 100% women go all die out. But if I look at it and I break it down, it's going to be very hard for women to survive if well, all men are gone. Right. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I mean, you women may have to move to the jungle for a while until they actually get a hold of, How you, gonna you get know. to the jungle? You're gonna get in your car and drive through the jungle. I mean, you might have to go and build you a teepee or whatever, you know, or or put a tarp over your roof or whatever you have to do. But women are survivors, and we will survive. There's no doubt about that. So now you're gonna be thinking, how many women do I know that can teach me how to uh, repair my roof, or that can teach me how to change a pipe that's busted, or how to change a tire? Do well, you know how to with, change a tire? Well, with no, I don't. But with See what I'm saying? I don't, but there are women who See, do. That's usually in the house. I'm not the, the man is that. the head of the I'm house. The man is the protector. So if you feel equal, what am I protect you for? You protect me then. If we the same, want you, if somebody breaking the house, are you gonna go run to the door and, and, and fight them off, or are you gonna? Nah! What you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna be honest. I saw a video not that long ago where she the woman she came. About to fight hold nobody. on. Someone came up in that house, and they had this on surveillance. Somebody came up in that house before yeah, they, had, they had her husband. Man, the wife came from the back. She didn't even have no clothes on. She had, I think she had on a bra that was it and like some underwear. She came out that thing like what? what? You like what's up? And they like was that? gone. Would when you rap me out, like that though? Somebody had me. and They had me tied up like this in the chair. Of and, course. And they had, no, look, they had me tied up. I'm downstairs, you upstairs, and the kids sleep. They had me tied up, and they had the thing around my mouth. You know, they put that bed. And I'm like this, mm, 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 mm. And you looked on the camera, and you saw me downstairs like this, mm, mm, mm. What would you do? I'm probably going to do that to you tonight, so you'll be able to find out tonight. I'm going to have your behind to have. I like that. You know what? Because I like his mouth to get me like this. Sometimes I just need his mouth to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Get like this, and that's, that's what makes me... Did you? That, that did you, you got hand sanitizer? So it's a lot. It's a lot of germs out here right now. You better go get some hand sanitizer before you put that on my mouth like that. Too late for that. Too late. For Listen, that. like I said, women gonna have a hard time without us. Men are gonna have a hard time without women. Women are gonna have a hard time without men. Oh, right, okay, okay. Okay. The better question. I know we will. If women left the earth and all the women were eliminated from the earth and there were no more women on the earth, period, guess what? That would be the end of civilization, period. It would be the end will of be... civilization if we, all men were gone. No, it wouldn't be, and I'm going to tell you why. Because there are sperm banks that can repopulate the earth. As long as there are women on this earth, you can repopulate the earth if you have the sperm. You can have sperm that's been stored for however long is the limit so, but you still and need then a man you can to keep do that, all populating the earth but it no because the man can be gone right but, but it still took a man listen, for the that sperm right it still gone. took a man for that sperm so the we still at gone. some point we need each other and so we do yes, yes but even if you guys were gone what i'm saying is life as we know it could still go on if we were gone as women were gone, I'll give you that. I'll life give you that. would end. That that would be the end of the world because there will be no more vessels to bring life forth onto this earth. I'll so that's that. why we have to remember 
our power. Women, we are powerful. We yes, are powerful are and power. we should take I agree. And we have to remember that. I'm like, all right, man. I think it's know, a good topic. It's I mean, a good I think topic. It's a good subject. I, honestly, we need I never, each but other. I never thought about like that topic. I, I, I don't even want to really think about like if it was just all me in here. Or we were all gone and just all women here, like no, I don't you know, want to think about that. Like at you, all. like you said, what if we y'all was all gone? I take me with y'all because I don't, I don't want to be here with a world <laughs> full of men. Period. That's terrible. Like I don't even want to live the rest of my life out to the end of my time if it's just all men here. Like I, I, I don't want to <laughs> do that. So that's I don't care if y'all left. I don't care what happened because I'm I'm leaving right behind y'all. If it, if all the women gone, you know. I, <laughs> Hey, we, we yeah. I love I love women. That's how we got here. Like you gotta respect that. Even yeah. if we did build the infrastructure, we built the buildings, we built the, the streets and the power lines and all that. That's cool. We that's good. That's great. But we wouldn't even be able to build them though. Think about it. We wouldn't even be able to build all that if women didn't, you know, birth us. So we got to hats off, hats off, hats off to all the women. That have that have children and that have raised them and that's going to have children and just women in general period even if you don't have any children just the point I still respect that you know at the end of the day we need each other absolutely men play a pivotal role in our society our economy in all aspects and women do as well this is her birthday weekend <laughs> her birthday is a couple days from now but I just want to say thank you this is a great birthday present yeah. the 1,000 subscribers Woo. that's what's up keep them coming keep them coming comment like subscribe if you enjoy it if you want to see more make sure you and what are we gonna do are we gonna shout you oh yeah make sure you <laughs> yeah make sure you comment <laughs> done below after you have turned on post notifications and like and subscribe comment done once you do that we're gonna shout you out on the next video and they better make sure they do what push the button In between stacks, fam. Too. Why would you just mess up? And I was talking <laughs> real good on here. I, Sorry. You just gonna you I just, just mess my video up like that. It's okay. And that ain't how you do it. It's. <laughs>